Hey Comic Book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, bringing you that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And guys, we continue this astonishing comic book week and we're going to be talking about Batman and Robin Eternal uh, issue number one. That's right, guys. This was a book that I was on the fence about getting. Actually, at first I said I wasn't going to get it. And uh, I wound up picking it up because it's like you almost can't pass it up. Um, artwork is gorgeous here. We get to see the cover art done by Tony S. Daniel. It's absolutely beautiful. Um and this story is written uh, by Scott Snyder and James Tinian IV. Uh, the book interior is just absolutely gorgeous, like I said. Here we get to see an opening page, half two-page spread panel uh, with uh, um, Dick Grayson and, you know, Pre New 52 Batman in there, and uh, and and everybody is just drawn wonderfully. And the action in this book is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we get to see our different versions of Robins in here. So we get to see um, Tim Drake. We get to see Grayson. We get to see Jason Todd. Uh, they all kind of make their appearance in this particular book. Uh, check out this page page here with Jason Todd on there. It's just. The artwork, I couldn't say enough throughout this book, is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, visually, it's outstanding. I wish that Tony S. Daniel could draw this entire series, but I know it's impossible uh, when it's a weekly series. So obviously, the art will be rotating. That's the only downfall about you know so far about the series is, is that the art will be rotating artists. But the artwork in this is absolutely gorgeous. So uh, what did I think about this opening story? It was $3.99. However, uh, I think it was a little bit meatier than, than uh, just a normal book. There was more pages in here. Um, so first off in this book, you find out that uh, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, and uh, Dick Grayson all work together to go on a mission uh, with Grayson, and they're trying to, uh, uh, you know, take care of this mission or whatever it is. And it, it just made you feel like it was really that Bat book, the book, the the Bat family really working together uh, in this particular issue, and. Um, and, and it was really cool to see that. And it was just kind of like a little bit of a side story. Um, you get to see a little bit of Bunny Robo Batman in this book. He's going after um, Bluebird, which is Harper Row in, uh, in the book. And uh, she makes her appearance in here. And uh, it was pretty cool to see all these different cast of characters together. Like I said, it, it was just really enjoyable. And the book does a really good description on actually uh, describing all your different Robins. You know, here again, you get to see uh, Tim Drake in here, and, and it just says Red Robin, a.k.a. Tim Drake, Batman's third partner, IQ of 142, a bit of a show-off, you know? And so I, I like that, how they describe the Robins in there, and again, them working together. And then, like I said, you even already have Harper Rowe showing up in that book. And, um, and really what this story is about uh, it was about Grayson going under this undercover mission uh, for the opening of the Tower of Enlightenment. So it's Gotham State University Tower of Enlightenment. And so what happens uh, in this in this issue, uh, he kind of relives, goes back to the days of an old mission, and uh, he winds up getting attacked by all these kids. And you wind up seeing that uh, they're they're calling uh, they're calling uh, this mystery villain like the mother and the orphan and it became this big mystery and Grayson has no idea what's going on and so like he has all these kids attacking him and and uh you know even his uh partner from Spiral um is going against him as well and starts shooting at him and he has no idea what's going on and so what happens is he winds up getting into a fight um, with Cassandra and you wind up seeing that in the issue as well uh, really good action scenes that happen in the book like I showed you this page earlier and uh, he winds up getting this jump drive and uh, what was really cool is you got to see all the vision on how um, 
uh, Grayson can be taken out. She sees everything beautifully there. Uh, and, and she could really just destroy him, but it was just like, she just gave him this jump drive. And then you find out the mystery that was at hand. Uh, you kind of find out a little bit more about this mystery of what happens in the book. So overall, this was a great book. It had great artwork. The characters are very mysterious. Um, it just, it's, it, it has a tone of a Batman book, but really Batman isn't in it. It's all about uh, Dick Grayson, and uh, it looks like in the future we're going to see more of the other Robins as well. So uh, definitely, guys, go out and buy Batman and Robin Eternal, uh, issue number one, if you're on the fence about this. I think this might be an actual better story than maybe the last one. It just depends on filler issues and things like that, but... It left you with a huge cliffhanger, and when you see that at the end, you're going to be like, what the hell is going on, and who are these villains? So, great mystery, great artwork, nice pacing, great character interactions, nice narration, all around a perfect book. And so far, this is only the second book I've read, but I give this one a 5 out of 5 stars, too. I really enjoyed it. Really worth your money here, and uh, check this out, guys. So, guys... As always, leave me your comments below what you thought of Batman and Robin Eternal. Were you a fan? Were you not a fan? And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, you can go check out my reviews over on Comic Frontline this week. As I'm reviewing uh, Detective Comics issue number 45, Paper Girls issue number 1, and Invincible Iron Man issue number 1. So again, guys, until that next review... I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.